Hi Scorpios, welcome to my channel. We're doing your weekend reading. This is for your November 3, 4, 5, Saturday, Sun uh, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Okay, again, I don't accept personal readings anymore. It would be screened when I open it again. I'm working on finishing everybody and I'm um, just to keep you posted um, with that. No personal readings. Okay, so here we go. Let's see what's going on. Please watch the update videos. All right. <laughs> so let's see. For Scorpio Sun, Moon, and Rising, weekend. Oh, this is the secret soulmate, by the way. So we're going to look here, um, the situation that you're in, um, how it is developing, and then what you don't know about the soulmate that you are connecting with. Here we go. So Scorpios. Ooh, very nice, guys. The situation you're in is very happy. Ten of Cups, Scorpios. Um, this is even just being fulfilled by yourself. Because um, Nine of Cups is being single, and <laughs> Ten of Cups is being happy. So it could be very happy single. <laughs> but this is already with a family and a couple. So you're enjoying time with the person that you're connecting with. There is emotional connection, no doubt about it. This is also something that you have wished for, you asked for. And at some point, you did wait for this. Because you have to go to Ace in order to get to the 10. Okay? So it's very good. Good energy. This only that you are having. Can be a water sign. Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio. I'm seeing here that either you visited their house, you know, there's even some sort of water that you guys are connected. Well, you're a water sign. But I'm sensing a strong water energy over here. Okay. Person's favorite color is blue. <laughs> and you have your chariot. Okay. Um, this is a Cancerian energy. Can be connecting with a Cancerian. Or this is involves travel. I just told you we visited. <laughs> this is a mobile, right? Chariot is like the car. Um, if it's a Cancerian energy also, this person is very nurturing um, that you're encountering with. Um, you're just going to go with this right now and they're going to go with it. Um, I'm seeing here like there, if there was messages between the two of you, Scorpio, it's like a riddle. Um, and you have solved it. Um, you have addressed it also. And you, when you address this, it, you have more clarity. You see it, you went along with it, and it's moving towards the path of, the path of success. Um, this energy that you have, um, cause it's, I'm, I'm seeing here, cause this is the number seven, the chariot and seventh house is the partnership relationship in, in astrology. So you are strongly connected with your yin and yang. Okay. That's what I'm sensing here. It's very good though. Very, very good. And you have your knight of swords. This is a direct communication that you guys are having. Um, you guys are on the same page I see here. Same page on their page. You understand me? So you speak your truth, they speak your truth. It doesn't matter if you guys agree though, but honesty is here. Um, it can be harsh, yes, because that is a knight of swords, but it is direct. If you stay long in a wishy-washy situation, that gets more complicated. Here, it's not complicated because we just got to be real. This is what you're having with your soulmate. And then you have here the tower. I, I never, I mean, you know, the tower is, you know, breaking down a foundation, breaking down of what has been built. Okay. So with the 10 of cups on top of it, the situation that you're in, your life is changing. Okay. Because this can be what was. Because you can't, you know, from what I'm sensing, you're like, this is what was. You were having a difficult situation in your life. And then someone brought you up. Okay. And well, you know, Scorpios are known to be the Phoenix. So we were created to death and rebirth. You know, we were in the cycle of we're always we're always coming down and we're always coming up. See, that's the problem with the Scorpio's energy. And we are in the Scorpio season. So a lot of letting go. This is the letting go part, the tower. Let it crumble and then rise up. Okay? Or this is what you have experienced with your soulmate. And especially when the tower is being built, um, I'm sensing here there was a move, a relocation of a place. Because Ten of Cups is a ha happy home. So you could probably move into a new state, a new apartment with a chariot, and then you rebuild yourself from there. Very good. And then you met this air and water sign. Three of Cups over here. You're moving really to the path of success. With a chariot over here, you're going to be very, very happy, Scorpio. Because the situation calls for celebration. Okay? It's like a holiday here. Okay? <laughs> And this is the fireworks, the tower. Don't get me wrong, okay? But remember, the tower can also be sexual. This is a sexual energy for me. This is Mars. So this can be an Aries or a Scorpio. Well, this is your also, okay? Because you're ruled by Mars. So you are having a, a, a very wonderful time with this person, just saying. Okay? Some people might incur... Ooh, like, some people would probably go to a um, um, very different kind of way of intimacy because this is Three of Cups. Sometimes it is a third party, but I'm sensing here someone wants to encourage having a third in the intimacy part. Just saying. And then you have here the star card. 
Okay, the Knight of Swords with the star, this is you following the path, following your, your destiny, receiving the guides, receiving the information, the downloads. Your soulmate is very much connected to you, very much. Um, the star is a symbol of hope, you know, um, and just following your intuition. And the communication that you guys have, you just follow it. You don't even, you know, like you don't filter it, which is good. Um, sometimes, you know, yes, of course, we have to practice restraint because we can be harsh and stuff like that. But sometimes preventing it, you know, sometimes it really doesn't help. We, just, we can be sensitive towards the other person's feelings, but sometimes when we omit something, a certain energy, then we get into, a, 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 you know, like a, a wishy-washy situation. So the star card is going in the same direction as you are with this person, can be an Aquarian over here or a strong water energy, okay? So... Scorpios, I'm going to continue this reading on the secrets of your soulmate, the things that you don't know, so that it will help you basically make a better judgment. Thank you very much, guys, for watching. Have a wonderful, wonderful weekend. Have